<laughs> I don't think I've ever taken out anybody that was perfectly silent on the trip. Sometimes the more social folks, they wave at everybody. When it's a nice, calm day like today, we can have a great conversation. Laughter is not the first image we conjure up when we think of a residential care facility. But in Comox, BC, there's been more laughter at one of their facilities since a do-it bike was donated and retired staff returned as volunteer do-it bike riders. My name is Sandy Dregers and I managed long-term care for 22 years. So I, I get what that the people need, real life experience, and they need to be out in the community and seeing and doing things that they used to do. The Do It Bike Trips are fun outings into the community, creating a sense of freedom and adventure for the residents. We can take people out in the, in the bus, but you're traveling at the speed of the, the roadway, and you don't get a chance to, to experience some of the things that are happening around you because you're in a vehicle and it's confining. The bike is the thing that I like the most because it's nice to take people out in the community, people wave to them, they see things, they smell the grass, uh, the resident is talking to the, the folks. It's so much fun for them when they come back because it's the feeling of freedom. The Do It Bike volunteers have many stories to share. Their stories demonstrate the benefits of the Do It Bike to those people that call the views home. I just took a lady out who was a new resident. She was feeling kind of lonely, a little bit depressed when she arrived in the facility. So we asked her if she wanted to go for a bike ride and she was very, very happy that she could do this. And we took her out. We traveled around some of the area that she's from. She used to live in one of the apartments that was further down the road and had walked down to the marina. And because of that, when she came back, she was overjoyed that this is something that she can do. She isn't going to be just involved in being here as a resident. She can actually go for a ride now. And, and, that's, and that was the best part. I think what stands out for me, it just breaks my heart because almost every, especially the ladies, they don't want me to do all the work back. Well, you do all the work, so. Mm -hmm. That kind of breaks my heart because I am I am enjoying it as much as them. It is not hard work. It is a piece of cake. It's really no mystery why the Do It Bike is so popular once you hear the laughter from the <laughs> residents. It seems to possess a kind of superpower. It transports the residents into nature, easily reconnects them with family and local restaurants or the park, and creates a lot of joy. The, the response has just been overwhelming. Once we started taking people out, uh, family members would be like, pick me, pick me. We have even had uh, some of our, our physicians who come in and say, let's put them in the bike, let's get them outside. It's a beautiful day, isn't it lovely? Mm -hmm. I would like more people to experience it, both for the residents and for the people, because it's so rewarding. It's very fulfilling. It's, it's, you're giving back to the community. I know. I'm enjoying the heck out of this. You just go away with a warm heart because you made somebody's day. Oh, looks like we're home. <laughs> <laughs>